Greece has now been living under austerity for more than five years, and that means drastic budget cuts in the midst of recession. And nor has the pain of those five years been reflected more clearly than down here on the streets. Street art is booming in Athens. If you just look at the wall of this Athens uh, building, you'll see it's become a canvas for people's feelings, for their rage. Um, there are four words there repeated. That means freedom. There's a set of scissors up there with the message, cut the debt. That obviously means Greek debt. And if you move over to those blue eyeglasses, there's a message for Germany. This is not Berlin. Many Greeks actually blame Germany for imposing austerity on the country through the European Union. Down below the glasses, you see the name Kakao Rocks. That's the name of a street artist who did the scissors and the glasses, and we spoke to him down here. Kakao Rocks, as you might have guessed, isn't his real name. He prefers to keep his identity secret, and so he wears a mask on camera. Here we have a union, the European Union, and Greece now is bankrupt. It's not the fault of the Greek people, it's the fault of the corrupted uh, governments and the banks. They also like to do quite a bit of stenciling, as you can see, and here they've got the German Chancellor's head superimposed on a pair of Mickey Mouse ears. It's a reference to Euro Disney. The current Greek government was elected on a promise to end austerity, but the government is under an enormous amount of pressure, and that's what makes the wait so difficult. And many of the street artists here say the jury is still out. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Athens.